Hello, my name's Emma and I'm a beautician in Preston at Natural Beauty. Um, today I'm going to show you how to look after your nails at home, making them look beautiful. First of all, you need to use a file, um, approximately about 180 grit. Um, don't if you don't understand that, it just needs to be a nice soft board, not an abrasive one. Okay. Um, as you can see, this lady's client's nails are a bit mix-match. Um, if you're wanting the correct shape for your nail, um, if you've got short nails, you need to make them nice and round to make them appear longer. Um, if you've got long nails and you want to make them appear shorter, square them off and just round the edges off. Okay? But Christine today likes round nails. So all you do is, starting from the corner, sweep towards the centre in long sweeping motions. Once you get to the centre, go to the side of the corner and then sweep towards the middle. Doing it in sweeping motions in just one stroke causes less damage to the nail. If you do it in fast sweeping motions, it can damage the nail. So do the same on all ten nails. Obviously if you've got long nails and you want to take them shorter, filing will take quite a long time. So you can buy um, tip cutters where you just place the nail into this hole and then just clip. Okay, the next step is your cuticles. Um, we need to push them back and remove the cuticles. Obviously, if you keep your cuticles on your nail plate, um, it can cause effect to the polish. So all you do is, using a cuticle remover, pop a little bit onto the skin and the cuticle, and then just give it a little bit of a rub. Do that to all the nails. And all this does, it softens the cuticles and helps the pushing back and the removing of cuticles easier. Okay, the next step is um, applying cuticle eraser if possible. If you've not got an eraser, it's not a huge problem. And um, this tends to be in a cream. So all you do again is you just apply it to the cuticle and do a quick rub. Okay, once you've got to the last finger, again go back to all of them and just give them a deeper rub. Okay, with that product on, you need now to push back the cuticles using a cuticle pusher. Um, this obviously is a professional one. Um, the ones that you can buy are usually a plastic one with like a hoof shape at the end. So all you do is gently push back, not too far as you can cut the cuticle and that can be very, very painful. So going round the hole of the cuticle at the bottom of the nail, push back nice and gently. Okay, once you've got to your last nail, you then need to use the cuticle knife. Okay, it's just a sharp implement, and all you do is doing it gentle sweeping strokes, remove the cuticle that you've pushed back, and remove it off the nail very short sweeping movements so again you don't cut the cuticle if you're not confident in doing this just use a cuticle pusher that we used before okay once you come to your last nail you just need to remove that product either washing your hands or wiping it off with a towel If you're going to use a towel, make sure you really, really rub the cuticles. After you've done the cuticles, the next step is exfoliation. Okay, this is very, very important to the um, fingernails and the skin around the nails, um, as it removes dead skin. Um, the scrub that you would need to use, obviously, would be a body scrub if you've got one at home. Obviously, rub it into your hands first. If you're doing it yourself, you, all you would do is you would just rub it in rub it down your fingers and into your cuticles. So you make sure you rub everywhere into the cuticles on each finger and nail and then turn them over and do the palms. Okay, once you've done the scrub, all you need to do is again either wash your hands or remove it with a towel. If you're going to wipe it off with a towel, make sure you thoroughly rub as you don't want to leave any of the grit from the scrub 
on the skin. Okay, the next step is moisturise. Okay, just use a normal hand cream and apply it to the hands. If you don't use hand cream, the reason is you can't be bothered. The best tip is to put a bottle of hand cream next to your bed. So when you get into bed at night, you can just pop it on and go to sleep. Then you won't be washing it off when you're washing your hands or doing the washing up. Or pop some in your car and when you're stuck in traffic, you can just pop it on. Okay, so once the cream's rubbed in, remove any excess with a towel just by dabbing. Okay, obviously there's some oil on the um, natural nail due to the exfoliator and the um, moisturiser. Um, if oil is left on and then applied polish, the um, polish will um, chip and um, lift away from the natural nail. To remove the oil, you just need to use a non-acetone nail polish remover. As if you use acetone base, which most um, polish removers do, obviously acetone removes artificial nails, so it's very, very strong for the natural nail. So all you do is you apply it onto cotton wool. You'll hear a squeaking sound, which tells you that oil has come off the nail. Now the first step to a really good polish is you need to apply base coat. What base coat does, it stops the nails from staining and keeps the polish on longer. A really good one is one called Sticky from Creative. It says exactly what it says on the um, bottle, it's sticky, i.e. the nail polish sticks to the um, base coat. When applying polish, whether it be a base coat or colour, always leave a gap at the bottom of the nail to allow the nail to breathe. If you flood the cuticles, remove the polish and start again. Your base coat doesn't have to be done neatly as long as it's applied all over the nail. In between the coats of the colour or the polish, you need to let it dry for two minutes before you apply the next coat. Okay, again, when applying colour, you need to leave that gap at the bottom of the nail. The best way to apply polish is stroking, removing product from one side of the brush, go onto the nail, sweep, sweep down the middle, the left side, and then the right side. If it's a bit jagged, you can sort that out in your second coat. Once you've applied your first coat of colour, again, allow the nails to dry for two minutes. This gives chance for the, each layer to dry. Okay, now we're going to apply the second coat. All the second coat does, it brightens up the colour and lets you correct the jagged points at the bottom. So you do this coat very, very slowly and again, leave a gap at the bottom and around the nail. Do this to all of the nails. If you wanted to apply diamonds or any sort of nail art, you would do it in two minutes, obviously, to let this coat dry, and then you would apply diamonds and the nail art. You always need to use a top coat. The top coat gives a really good shine and obviously lets the enamel last longer as it gives it a coating. Now, a really good trick when applying top coat is doing the same as before, leaving the gap. But when coming to the ends, if you can, Cap it under the nail, so you're sealing the colours and the polish in. Okay, so all you need to do is at the end of the nail, do some stroking movements. Don't worry if you get, don't worry if you get it on the skin, as you can remove that with a um, polish remover. And you do that to all of the nails. Okay, now this is the worst bit, waiting for it to dry. Okay, now you need to leave it to dry at least for an hour before you can do any bits and bobs around the house or go out shopping. Um, a really good tip to um, encourage the nails to dry quickly is after 10 minutes applying the polish, run the tap with freezing cold water and apply the nails in that direction underneath the water. It allows the um, cold water to, if you will, freeze the enamel. 
Um, one thing that you shouldn't do, and that a lot of people probably do, is use a hairdryer to um, dry your nails. What the hairdryer does is it's heat. So it heats the nail back up and doesn't allow the enamel to sit set. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope you've picked up and learned some new ideas. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.